This is insane. Just when you found out the world is okay, you were singing yourself to death. The world is not okay. You know, the world is not okay. You can't just decide to die. I don't decide anything. I just let go. Sorry, my dear. We've been pushing you too hard. No, Henry. There's nothing to be sorry for. Life ends. But I've seen finally. After all these years. Just don't do this to me, please. <laughs> well, let's go now. Um, women's business. When Edith Mbachana was buried in the earth of the Kangaroo Plain, her husband followed the Aboriginal traditions for death, but after the ceremony, he neglected those for mourning. It occurred to no one that he might be attempting to break more serious taboos. You come along now, Henry. You come away from here. You know it's wrong for you to be here. Wrong for you, Peter. But okay for me. You know, I'm a white fellow, you know. Okay, he's in deep sleep. Oh. What's he doing? He's trying to record his own dreams. The technology is the same. He takes his brain signals and turns them into pictures on the screen. At first, only Dr. Faber could see the promise of his experiments. He and Carl worked around the clock. 
but the fruit of their labor seemed to be nothing more than a chaotic rhythm of digital noise, colors, and lights. Sam knew what he was expected to do. Don't hurt him. Where's my son? You see, we know you. We know how your brain sees. And we're smart. We learn. What was just electricity to us yesterday is color today and movement. Progress. A cacophony of brainwaves transformed into a symphony of colors and shapes. Biochemical images. If I were Sam, this would make me feel like honey. Music of the spheres. This is so beautiful. Beautiful. Wallpaper is beautiful. You're now looking at the human soul singing to itself, to its own God. Know about God. But the God within us. Look at it. It needs nothing. It needs everything. Oh, nothing. Nothing, dear. It will eat us up alive. Never. We should really stop this. Stop it. How could we stop it? This is all we've ever wanted. This is what we feed on. Could we ever turn away from this? Aren't you? Come on. <laughs> Aren't you even curious to know about your dreams? Of course she is. It's not very clear to me. Is that all the computer will learn? Well, if that's the worry, relax. We'll have them clear as crystal. Relax. Any day. I don't really like my dreams. Mostly they're nightmares. You have to look at it as if you were going to another planet, or it's like you'll be the first woman to walk on Venus. On Venus. Venus. Yes. You're not trying to tell us you're going to turn down a chance to see your own. Come on. And uh, then we quit. And, huh? And then, and we, then quit. we quit. And then we quit. What does that mean? <laughs> and then we quit. All right then. Yes, then we quit. Can it's a deal. deal. It's a deal. Will you do it? Once. Tonight? Once. Oh. oh that's the <laughs> way. Is that a promise? No, she doesn't trust us. <laughs> <She's trying to. laughs> Listen, no, 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 no. I finally understood why Henry had wanted to transform brainwaves into images. His wife existed only in his dreams. He had sought her there and had found her. Well, not really her, his memory of her and his vision of himself.